This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about how to tell if you've injured your hip flexor. Um, if you like this video, we put out new content weekly, uh, so please like and subscribe. So your hip flexor is the muscle that allows you to lift your hip upwards. And sometimes whether you're playing sports or you just generally strained it, you can have an issue where you strain your hip flexor. So how do you know if you strain it? Um, well, first off, you'll have pain right in your groin, so not on the side of the hip, not in the butt or the back area, like kind of right in the crease of your groin. And you'll notice it's worse if you take a big stride, like if you, um, like if let's say you injured your left hip flexor, if you go to take a very large step with your right leg and you have pain um, in your right in your left hip, then that could be a strained hip flexor. Um, there's also a couple other things that can cause pain in that er that area that's in the groin. Um, one is hip arthritis or one is a hip labral tear. Generally speaking, hip flexor injuries will get better as time goes on, um, just through time and uh, stretching as well, while a hip labral injury and hip arthritis normally don't. So normally the story is you might have been doing something or playing a sport and uh, you lunged and all of a sudden it hurts right and you're growing, but you find that after a few days it starts to get better, then it's probably a hip flexor uh, strain. You can't really see it on x-ray, MRI will be plus minus. It could show that there might be fluid uh, in the iliopsoas, which is the main hip flexor muscle, but by and large, you don't really need that. Like I said, most people get better with just some gentle stretching. Um, sometimes we'll do steroid injection for it if it's not getting any better after that. Surgery is extremely rare for a hip flexor strain. I would, some people will, will release that tendon, which I don't recommend. Other people will do a hip scope and clean it up. Again, super rare. Um, and on occasions, if you, your iliopsoas muscle can kind of click or pop. So if you notice clicking or popping in your hip, sometimes it's actually that hip flexor muscle sliding uh, across your hip joint. So again, easiest way to tell is you take a large step with the other leg and if it hurts kind of right in your groin area, but it, then it's most likely a hip flexor strain if it gets better with time. Um, so I hope I was able to answer your questions about how to tell if you injured your hip flexor. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond, but I can't really give you specific medical advice about what you should do. Um, again, if you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.